Welcome to Cannon Hall Farm TV. This week we're getting the sheep ready for tupping. And I'm going to be treating Arnie the ram who's a little bit under the weather. We're following our very best stock person as they spend a day looking after the reindeer. So uh, catch you later guys. See you soon. Right, um, it's getting to that time of year now where we're, uh, we're getting ready for, for tupping time and it's really, really important. Obviously, if this doesn't go well, we've got no lambs in the spring and um, you know it really is the most vital time of year. So today, we've, uh, we've, we've gathered all the sheep up. They're, they're all mixed up in uh, a bit like um, licorice all sorts and it's our job today to separate them out put them in individual fields so that next week we can introduce the ram and let nature take its course. Uh, before we can do that though, we've got a really important process that needs to, uh, needs to be done. It's called crutching. It's basically removing all the overgrown wool away from the, uh, the tail of the sheep so that the ram has got a really good chance of being successful in his pursuit to mate the ewe. Right, we're going to head across now. Farmers Kieran and Eddie are busy uh, doing their uh, doing their stuff. We're going to go and have a look and see what it's uh, what it's all about. This particular process is much more relevant for certain breeds. Uh, for instance, the uh, the Herdwick, the breed standard would would it would dictate that they had a longer tail than the average breed of sheep. The same with the Kerry, the same with the Jacob, the same with the Swiss Valley. So therefore, there's just this little process that's that's needed to give maximum uh, the maximum chance of, uh, of success when it comes to breeding. Tupping is, is obviously the first stage of the process. There's so much to do to make sure that the ewes are well cared for, that the pregnancy goes well, um, that, that they need scanning in January. They need separating then into, into groups to feed. Obviously the ones with singles don't need much food. The ones with triplets need almost as much food as they can possibly eat. Um, if we do that well, if we, if we get them to the latter stages of pregnancy, we've just got to hope then that we can deliver lots of new rare breed lambs for the Easter holidays, beginning of April, and hopefully help safeguard the future of these precious rare breeds. Hi everyone, it's Dave from Cannon Hall Farm. Now, we've had a few problems with Arnie, our Jacob Ram. He's been a bit under the weather, so should we go and have a look and see how he is? Right, Arnie is a little bit constipated. We're also giving him a course of uh, antibiotics just to make sure he's, he's hundred percent because he's got a very important job next week. Uh, he's going in with the Lady Jacob, so uh, we've got to get him on top form. Oh, he's all right. Well, that's that one done. So what's this that you're giving him then, Dave? It's, uh, I've got my glasses on but it's uh, to uh, get him regular again. Drink up. Right guys, he's had his jab, so we're gonna give him a little bit of an energy solution now to uh, get him back on the... Uh... Oh, I don't think he needs it. <laughs> Calm down, Arnie. Right, I think that penicillin's done the trick. So uh, he should be well enough uh, to meet the ladies next Friday. So from me and Arnie, we'll be back. We're incredibly pleased to have reindeer at Cannon Hall Farm. We think they're going to make such a difference to the Christmas experience. The children are going to love them, they're going to be so excited, I can't wait to see the faces. The one thing that we have done is set my dad, the top stockman on, looking after them. He's making sure that they get exactly what they need to eat. They've got carrots, they've got sugar beet pulp, they've got all manner of things. He's doing it meticulously well and they're absolutely thriving. So, so far so good. They're making a great difference to Cannon Hall Farm and we hope they're going to be here for years to come. Uh, what's going on? You've been looking after them, haven't you? Uh, mostly it's been my job. Ruth filled in on odd occasions, but it's mostly my job. Uh, I really like them. They've, uh, they've taken to the place quite well and I'll just go through the routine of the day, really. So what you got there to start with them? Well, this is an afternoon feed. This is, this is carrots. This is a little treat for them. Now, Prince, the white one, he has all carrots and Geoffrey has cut up carrots because Geoffrey was uh, born with no teeth at all. He's never had teeth, so it's not that his dentist pulled them out or anything like that. He's got no teeth, so he needs them cutting up. Well, according to the, pe the people we got them from, but I've seen him sneak one of those and uh, he seems to have a cushion with his gums, so 
So now I let them eat that up and while I'm doing that I take the water out. Now then they get fresh water twice a day. Right, well this is the last little uh, little job for the reindeer. Uh, we're going to give them some straw, it's barley straw. Uh, it's the only thing that's safe for reindeers. Again, wheat straw is not good for them. Uh, so we've got a little job on to uh, to get them ready for Christmas Eve and uh, buy the Christmas off some reindeer in good in good uh, in good condition. Does it pay well, Santa? Well, he's so kind to all the little boys and girls. I couldn't dream of uh, asking him for any payment, could I?